What's up, all you crazy human beings? And welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. We're picking up from where we left off. We are in. Oh, I'm all tangled. All tangled as usual. Oh, what are we caught on? Okay, we're good. Picking up from where we left off. We're on episode four. We're having some kind of issue with that guy. Bluebeard? Bluebeard. So we're going to have to figure this out. We're going to have to work with him. I don't know how I feel about that. What's up, Greg? Thanks for popping in. Got only one of them today. Well, four to go. Should be fun. Question is, are you going to wait till you get them all? Probably not. Uh, first things first, we had a couple of people that were public accounts, subscribe, off stream. I did say that, I did say that. We could play that. It's a cheap game, but I don't think any, is, is it cross-platform? It's not cross-platform. So if I play on PS5, is that... Like, everybody with a PS4 can join, or is that only people with PS5? See, that's the issue we run into. If I play on PC, that's... Is that everybody only who can play on PC? I don't know. Who did I click? <laughs> Melissa Dennis, thank you very much for the sub. And, of course... Tracy Bethel. Thank you very much for the sub. You're playing with it right now? Oh, well then, never mind. Obviously not going to wait. Didn't wait. Chose not to wait. Which is just fine. Nothing wrong with that. So you're right. By all means. Some people wait. Some people don't. Just different kinds of people. Game one. Among Us. Among Us. That's what I meant. That's what I was talking about. Take a couple swigs of the old energy drink. And let's get to town here. Stop wasting some time. And let's just jump right in. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? It was a good show, but, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I forgot to do the announcer voice. Last time on The Wolf Among Us. are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. Oh, no. 
If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. That's correct. Easy there. Try not to move. I'm a doctor. <clears throat> On werewolves. Baby. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Swinehart, how bad is it? No, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Uh, I can? Oh. <laughs> For heaven's sake. Oh! <laughs> See, man, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Are you kidding? That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... If you wouldn't mind, stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. Ah, thinking... There. All done. Great. Vultures? This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Yikes. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I don't need a babysitter. I can look after myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? I don't like this doctor. Colin. <laughs> Swiney? Yeah, I don't like this doctor. Colin. Thanks for your help, Colin. So, how do you, um, feel? Hmm? Huh? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... Or... Died, I guess. It... Um... It kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived... 
You know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. And pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder- Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the Crooked Man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a... loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters, to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it. Okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end... What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break! Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, alright? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not! Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby?
Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? <laughs> That's rude. Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. Hopefully she's what do you think that could be? Wearing clothes. Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I was waiting for a second uh, for a break and it never came, but hey, what's up, Wowie? What's up, Kate? Kate, you haven't really missed much at all. Uh, just before you came in, the doc was there. Um, giving Big B a hard time again about just the fact that his job is rough and somehow that's Big B's fault. But uh, anyway, the doc was <laughs> giving Big B the business. And uh, oh, for God's sake. Um, and so. Um, There we go. And the third one. Boom. Reported. I'll just keep reporting them. We'll see what happens. But anyway, you haven't missed much of anything, Kate. Um, there's just... Uh, the, 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 just, the, uh, just the porn bots coming in and, and throwing in a bunch of messages. <laughs> but uh, right after that, Snow was kind of getting the business from uh, the pig. I forget his name, Colin. And then, uh, and then uh, I had Big B kind of defend Snow a little bit. And then Snow started giving the business to Big B, and so Colin was defending Big B. So I kind of gave Colin a little, little bit, a little bit back in that one. So that's where we're at. You really haven't missed much. Let's see what we got going here. Back to the business office. Excuse me, the security office. Our office. set up but it's not it's not like it's not like super smart but I might be able to give it a phrase that could cut that thing out so hang on I um are you okay you didn't look good last night I'm fine don't worry about me <coughs> oh for God's sake <laughs> Huff and puffs 
Not many people smoke those. Thanks, Thanks Oils. There's not a lot that I oh, can talk sorry. about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. I'm missing I'm missing stuff because of this stinking porn bot. Hang on one second. Let's see if we can fix this. I'll just I'll just add a phrase. Let's see if we can add a phrase. Let's see if this will work. Add new band phrase. Control B. Yeah, I like that. Save that. And let's add a new band phrase. Hold on, what does it keep saying? They keep doing emojis, right? Because they're not saying anything inappropriate. They're just putting emojis. So that's the problem. I could put their screen name, but I don't think it'll get rid of them. That's the, I don't think it'll stop them. It's because they're not posting links. They just want you to go to their channel. Which is lame. Let's go back to check. Mods. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got link protection. So they can't drop a link in. Symbol protection, I have that. I don't know. I don't know if it'll work, but I tried their name. We'll see. <laughs> see if that works. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back yeah, in the I wish you had a better interface. Putting in pie. I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. But it says we're on the right Sometimes, track. Sometimes, but we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? You're spotting the grift, Oils. Spotting the grift. <laughs> YouTube's grift. This might be a, a bad thing, but I'm doing it. You mind if I just... No! Lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! 
You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Yeah, I thought it might have that reaction, but it was worth a try. I had a feeling I wasn't gonna be able to get it offered. Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just point me in the right direction, I swear I will fix this. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. What are you worried about? Just... please don't say anything. In my case, that's probably for the best. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt? That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. You missed all the buttons there. We need to solve this before something else happens. Do we think Who she hit knows? down or up? Down, probably, right? Down? Probably down. I have other matters to attend to. What the heck was that nonsense? Alright, fine. Once upon a time. Beauty and Beast's apartment. The Woodland Building. And you didn't Noon. want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. Oh, so argument's that, still that happening. Me. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it is. He knocks like a cop. Oh. What do you want? Well... You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No. That was... Forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Well, looks like Listen, it didn't work. I've had a shitty night. <sighs> What's that, guys? Sorry. It's a bummer to find out that didn't work. Oh, thanks for quick. Thanks, Greg. You got that one that time. Do that. It's uh, unfortunate. I don't even think it violates the rules of YouTube to have uh, to have that kind of name. Uh, I don't think that even violates YouTube's rules, quite honestly. Uh, which is which is horrifying. Which which bothers me. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it's not horrifying, but it is obnoxious. 
I don't know if there's anything I can actually do about that besides just banning them as they keep coming in. I'm reporting every single one of them. And hiding them on the channel. Yeah, that one's already hit. That's hidden. Hide user. Did I miss everyone? Did I miss someone? Nope, got them. I get this one. Got that one. Got that one. I don't know how many I don't know how many names they have. I don't know how many names they have. I think you're the only one. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? This guy. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Wish this guy would just calm down. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him mm. here to Talk about living in the past. Trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we I can't need get to there. talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. I get there. Can't get to it. All right. Can't get to it. Sorry. It's been a long night. Yeah. Not long you enough. know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to... Complicate I things. called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man, and I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? That's true. We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. Mm. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Can I answer that? Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> Are you gonna and get that? we can't that? come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... The 
the fuck was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Probably just a wrong number. I should have stopped really? him. I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. I don't believe her. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. <laughs> and those Tweedles <laughs> were always Devil. going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money, you don't have... Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No. Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from.
Man. It's a tough choice. Do we go for Mary first? Or the crooked man? I think I'm going to go with the lucky pawn. I don't think the wolf is ready for the butcher shop. I'm going to the lucky pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. was a wolf. It's dirty. No. It's a lucky no. pawn. It looks like you slept in it. It's in the Bronx. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, it's but I also got her phone number. It's in the afternoon. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? Whoa. Big B's here. Why are you never glamour toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly, used, mule-skin coat? Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Ogfrey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Cold? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I. Didn't really think you the type. Well, first, uh, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? He uses <laughs> fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman, force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude, and nobody's complained before. Oh, right. listen. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Do I have money? I don't think I have money. It's just... 
tough is a look. I'll, I'll give you some money, all right? I think I'm still Gotta broke. Be kidding me. I'm. Oh shit. I thought I still had. Uh, Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've. I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Believe me, Toad. You can always go to the farm. He really grows on you. <laughs> Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. Last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. Tell me about these loans. How do they work? Who collects? Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Mm. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. But the crooked man? Bad stuff. You mean he kills him? Or worse. Simple Simon tried to open up a bakery, took out a loan to help with the expense, but when he started getting laid on the payments, the crooked man put him into one of the pies and served it to a litter of alley cats. At least, that's what I heard. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh, I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back. You know? What else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here. But I can call you when he comes back, alright? Can't you Shut just- Shut up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. Haven't seen him around for a while. Hmm. What does that tell you? The Headless Horseman. Isn't this Cranes? Maybe. I don't know. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Who sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? Yeah? If you had my job, you wouldn't get out of bed. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. How was that rhetorical? I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, 
What? You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't- Jax was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Last chance. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... Not my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure that... I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Gren said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high, we should keep demands to a minimum. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is his axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait, we're not finished yet. If I were you... I'd watch my tone about now. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. The crooked man appreciated that. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen! All the dipshit! You're gonna- move. You piece of shit! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oh, Still oh, oh. a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle you myself. Ah! You fucking mother! Oh, motherfucker! What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking pot. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Alright, Woodsy. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
that's over. Holy smokes. Woodsman, let's relax. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. What did you hear? It got broken. Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. We're like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. And the cut above. And if I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh! oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me, or I'll come back here and finish the job. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his, and he sure as shit is ready for you. Interesting. Out of smoke? Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, go do it then. Yeah, Kate, they're, they were probably <sighs> taking advantage of everything. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You're going to be all right. 
know me. Did you see that price on the airline? Four hundred dollars nonstop. To where, like the next state over? The cut above butcher shop, Tubman Street. Late afternoon. No smoking. Hmm. Let's take this opportunity to look around. Nobody wants to work the front. Looks like they don't have much of anything. Huh. Empty. No you available know he's got numbers. A whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Hey, Muffy, thanks for stopping in. Letting me know. I know I've been seeing your comments. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Not very appetizing. You're far Those too kind. Solid. Who'd want to eat this? I'm having trouble right now deciding between Red Dead or... I shouldn't have done that Baby one. Baby Wolf? Darn. What happened to you? Hmm. I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> no, this guy. What kind of place do you think this is? I Don't swim in lies. Me. I swim in lies, mister. What you're looking for, I I think you'd be better off looking at the, the Lucky Pond. I know what they look yeah, like. Yeah, someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I'll bet you get lucky there. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's why they call it... Uh, I've been there. Didn't find what I was looking for. Covered in Had blood. Some words with Jersey too. Words? Anyway. Jersey's blood. If, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pawn, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. Yeah. Well, Jersey had those dirty hands wrapped around my neck not too long ago. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I smashed his horse face in. Knocked some teeth out. He won't be chewing bubblegum anytime soon. Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Oh, Don't go anywhere. I'll he be just right called back. for backup. Butcher? I just have to go see. He just called for backup. This is gonna be a fight. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at the Tweedles. Any YouTuber uh, that gets mad at you leaving comments, just uh, either they don't know, which, I mean, ignorance isn't an excuse, or they're just not that bright, uh, because comments are something that improves the algorithm for your channel, so I appreciate every comment on my videos. So thank you very much. Shit. Oh yeah, he's a terrible liar. I would have told him no problem if I was the sheriff. I'll wait out front. No problem, I'll wait out front. That's what I would have said. And then just kept walking around. Just wait out front. I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. Fuck me. You want to talk? You want to talk to Jersey? What 
was that? Uh, nothing, Sheriff. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. This is gonna be bad. Come on, damn it. You're such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just this guy's want freaking some out. I'm not built Beating like him's not gonna devil. work, yeah. Whatever you did to him, I can't take that. I uh, just dead. relax. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. Hey. You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. Nah. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. There would be the dead. Shh. told someone back here to run. That's what that button did. <sighs> they covered up some painting. They took someone with them. That's Crane. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Morning. Lights. You knew about that. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? <laughs> so this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. That's true, Other Kay. kinds of magic. It's true. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Yeah, sit down and shut up. Mister? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at everything. I'm gonna look at everything. They That's covered simple. something up. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's, uh, brand. 
It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Yeah, you know a lot. Is that a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Bundys need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Hmm. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. For making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. I guess we had to do that on the what other side. What are they side. making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. James, who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's, it's all the fucking same. What the hell is that? I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. You're going to protect me. <laughs> yeah, I'll take uh, take Crane's money's okay. I'm okay with that. I can live with taking Crane's money. If he goes to the business office, go to the business office right now. Go right now. Go right now. He was much feared. Fable Town Business Office, the Woodland Building. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. It's the Crane evening was helping now. himself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> if 
Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Don't worry. We'll talk soon. You can count on it. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Mabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah. War? Go talk to Toad. But just so you know... We can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Now budge on that bloody glamour. I only came in to see him. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say, you just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash? Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago, and you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But, you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. I didn't know that's where that was gonna go. Best I can do. I didn't mean to what send him to the farm. Shite. Government by the fables for the fables, my ass. I thought it was. Blue beer. You want to talk? Now's your Never chance. Mind. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. 
He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I didn't I mean, want to send I him. I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. I did it. He'll be gone tomorrow. Him and TJ. It may not have felt good, but it was the right thing to do. You know that. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened. To Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. I don't know, but when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Nice. He's probably still waking up a little. Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks mm. like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. But soon he mended his evil ways. The Gothic Bridge, Central Park, 94th Street. It's nighttime. This is probably a bad idea. Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way. 
for leaving off tiny, tiny to him. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way... Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Yeah, definitely a bad idea. <sighs> Nothing like walking into a trap. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. It's all I'm here to do. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. Thanks. <laughs> some kind of a fucking joke to you. What did I tell you eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh yeah? Mate, I ain't scared of you. Tell me who the it's fuck the is wolf back I there. Got a problem. I you I don't exactly you? know. I, I just around. mind the door. I might the boss is there. Him. I'm sure he will that prove much. himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made. Tweedledee and Tweedledum and Crooked Man. He's right. He was fine when Crane was smoothing things over, but this guy off his leash is up. That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. stories about you in the old days how you picked off those men one by one oh how they screamed the wolf is coming and they would wait hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic shivering corpses some would just drop to their knees where they stood close their eyes and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. 
<laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <gasps> Alright, let's see. Did you send Colin to the farm? Nope. Did you attempt to remove Narissa's ribbon? Yes, I did. <laughs> Which crooked operation did you investigate first? Me and 36% of players went to the Lucky Pond first. Interesting. Everybody went to the butcher shop first. Very interesting. I wonder who you catch at the butcher shop. Did you send Toad to the farm? I didn't mean to, but I guess I did. All right. How did you respond to the crooked man? Me and 43% of characters... A player's lit a cigarette. That's hilarious. How funny is that? All right, all right. And we're not done. We're not done. We're going to go ahead and continue. I'm just going to grab myself a beverage. I'll be right back while the credits are rolling. And then we'll start the final episode. Episode 5. Yeah, it must be, because if we remove the ribbon, they die. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, it must be. I, I don't remember it either because it's like a it's like a real deal Grimm fairy tale, right? I need to get the Grimm's fairy tale book. All right. That's right. It takes you back to the title screen. All right, here we are. Episode five. Cry wolf. Here we go. We could probably do this again I mean, with like your eyes and the teeth. A different You're not idea really supposed to it. do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. No. Holly's sister. Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, God! Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. 
He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Slayer, it's night time. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Jersey Please Devil's share. terrified. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio... It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff... For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie. You and your goons tried to kill me! I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you, and I can only offer my sincerest apologies. Crane wasn't yours to take. I apologize if I overstep my bounds. Won't happen again. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you, but the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that, but I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a- That's enough! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Georgie. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, yeah, let's work feeling. something out. 
What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. Interesting. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'll give a fuck if I'm the one... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? If I grab I the crooked you. man... I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <clears throat> all right. It was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. <laughs> what happened? What'd you do, Georgie? What'd you do? What have you done now, Georgie?
own it. Are you sure? Do it! He's not moving. Keep going! Doing well. This house of Come straw. On. We can't stay here. Uh, uh, hang no on. No nudity, no nudity, no nudity, okay. no nudity. Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. No nudity, no nudity, no nudity. <laughs> Oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Or it won't be your fault. Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course... You're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> you gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. I'll arrest you too if I have to. Go ahead. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Look! Don't give me that bullshit! You're responsible! Like hell I am! Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> so he told me to take care of it. Mm -hmm. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So he didn't actually so I fucking even killed say those stinking words. And I'd do it again! Because oh, it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. <laughs> oh. Oh. You think that'll help? Oh. Made me feel better. You still haven't learned, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. Uh, yeah. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Partially. Oh. Oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if Free and Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. 
to keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. Mm. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. You kill her then. My decisions? What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day! Stop it! I told you, sometimes all your options are shit. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really- Just shut up! You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait! I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them! Vivian, wait! I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Oh. Oh. Vivian! Georgie. No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just. Jesus. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Why do you care? Shouldn't you be more worried about yourself here? Just wanted a nice image to part on. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? You deserve worse than this, Georgie. I suppose you're right. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> all right, Georgie.
I guess that ended his suffering. Could have killed him a lot easier. I just shot him in the head. Many different ways to have done that, but okay. <laughs> and that was the end of the pudding and pie. Shepherd Metalworks. Late night. This is the crooked man's limo. Still warm. He's here, all right. Peace, man. Go backwards. Of course. This is where they've been sending these. to be something. They used to fear you. Mm. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Fast? I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll we'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper?
She can fly. She Peter Pan.
<sighs> My initial thought is the story's progressing towards Bigby's death. But it could go either way. Whoops. Hello, Crooked Bigby. Man. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of special... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid... Yeah, he expects to um, your answers. use the corrupt you will system. Have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. If this was a you're 70s... Reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? A justice Where film? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the him. truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. I'm doing this for Faith. Because she and Lily died. And someone is gonna answer for that! Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. He thinks he can appeal to the corruption of Fable Town. Unfortunately, every single person who's, co who's confronted... I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Doesn't yes, want to help. You'll him. have an opportunity to. They're doing it because they think they He's have back. to. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? They thought he was untouchable. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just 
glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where the yourself? fuck do you get These off? You think you have the right and to just do me? this to people? You're a fucking crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Borgie who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was told I, don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And resisting arrest. Oh, yes. Now is there anything you would <laughs> like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're in- Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk, well go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. 
just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. If only yes, I could speak. Wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We'd been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back, and in turn we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? I know what you're doing. It's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This means is that... important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The Sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie bird. was working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just him. make sure I understand you. 
You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while oh, under well, your was, watch. Under that my was watch. Bluebeard. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order None those of ours. two girls dead. None of our people died. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. That's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby, Miss White. Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's while? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. He might as well have. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me. Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. 
How can we be sure he won't escape? I what do you help? think? We'll use magic. That's I not good enough. Maybe there will be more, more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood shed so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. We should have a vote. That was a terrible democratic. decision. I should have had really Snow just that's decide. Going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? Oh, this isn't smokes. how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Yes. <laughs> What do we think? <laughs> do we let him live? Do we end him? Mm. Lock him up? Throw him in the witching well? What do you think, Duncan? What do you think, Kate? Earls, Greg. Hornbot. <laughs> I don't know personally. It's a tough decision. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. <laughs> there is not a vote option. <laughs> there is. Uh, lock him up, rip his head off, or throw him in the witching well. <laughs> oh, no. My instinct on these matters is to end him. That's my instinct. Guys like this will always come back. But if we're going to follow the law, the law should lock him up. We're not barbarians. We might lose some of them. We might lose some of them by not being barbarians. I don't know. Here we go. I'm going to have to make a decision. Not the rip the head off option. <laughs> okay. Lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Oh. It, Sheriff. Please, we can still end it already. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live, but now you're going to miss me. <laughs> no, I won't. For Lily. And Faith. Yes. Another one of us to erase from the books.
woodland luxury apartments. It was one day later. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. It's already just as bad as stinking. Oh, Colin! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ah, shit! Just go grab that, would you? How are you, uh, holding up? I know this isn't ideal for you. Wait! Sheriff Bigby! I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Mundy seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit! Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to, 
It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Georgie didn't do mercy. You know that. He could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of his stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah, I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you, you started all this? I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all of the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. 
So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Me and 68.6% .6 of players killed Georgia. Me and 89.6% .6 of players brought the Crooked Man back alive. Wow. Me and 38.6% .6 of players threw the Crooked Man down the witching well, which it was... A choice of three, so more than a third decided that. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? I did. Ninety-eight and a half players, ninety-eight percent and a half, ninety-eight and a half percent of players decided to do that. What kind of monster said no? Jeez. What were your last words to Narissa? Okay. Fifty-four point eight percent of people felt like that was the right thing to say. Okay. All right. Of three choices, I took the one that more than half went with. That's uh, uh, predictable, I suppose. All right, special stats. You fought him after the interrogation, Bluebeard. Uh, the butcher. I offered him protection at the business office. Colin, I gave him a drink when he asked for this. I helped him avoid the farm. I would have for the other one too. I just, I, I, I didn't know it's the wrong choice. Crooked Man, we took him back to the Witching Well and tossed him in. Faith gave him money. Georgie, we smashed up his place. Narissa, we gave her a cigarette during our final conversation. Tried to take the ribbon off in Bigby's office. Probably would have killed her. Uh, you brought her along with you on the trip to the trip trap. And Tiny Tim, we chose to wait for him. TJ, we accepted the beetle and promised him to snow. And there we go. That is the story of the wolf among us. Now, there was a company that did purchase Telltale Games and their properties and has said in 2009 that they're going to bring some back. So uh, a lot of people are hoping for a wolf among us too one day be the case. It's a good property. Yeah, this is a cool game. I agree, Kate. Obviously, there's many ways you can do this. So, I tried to play as good guy as I could, but kind of was like a Wild West Sheriff with it, where I was dispensing some street justice as well as um, being a little rough with the with the uh, with the prisoners and such, but, you know, it's Wild West. I treated Fable Town like like Wild West. It has been interesting. This was an, a very interesting one. I did download another Telltale game, the Batman series, so we're going to check that out as well. That should be fun. Let's see what they got for that. If anything, it'll just be like watching a movie. So we'll have movie nights again. More movie nights. I kind of like doing movie nights a, a couple times a week. Kind of fun. Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's nice working them in, but I just can't get addicted to the story. If I get addicted to the story, it takes over the other games. 
And you, you see that? Very special things. That was smart. The people who developed the story, and then at the end it says, and you. But thank you all very much for stopping in. This is where we're going to call the stream tonight. Continue the story. Pick up a graphic novel today. Hey! I did graphic novels for Fables. That's pretty cool. Based on Vertigo graphic novels. Let's check out some extras real quick. Okay, there's not much by way of extras. That's too bad. We didn't even get everybody. Still some people locked. So there's parts of the story that we missed, like there's content we missed. Might be worth playing again as like a bad wolf, like a bad wolf. Like a bad, bad wolf. <laughs> Thank you all very much again for stopping by. Yes, uh, good night, Kate. This is where we're going to call the stream uh, for tonight. Thank you again. Uh, not sure what I'm going to play tomorrow. I'm still working it out. But, uh... You know how it is. I go by feel. It's either going to be Breath of the Wild. Red Dead Redemption 2. Assassin's Creed. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or Star Wars. You know, those are those are the options right now. Or I could be starting something new. We don't even know. We don't even know. Could be anything. Could be anything. It's what's so exciting. <laughs> Thank you, Kate, for stopping in. Thank you. Uh, Duncan Hefner for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Muffy for stopping in and saying hello. Really appreciate it. The kind words are very much appreciated. Uh, Greg, thank you very much for stopping in and for the moderator duties, which were necessary today because of some porn bots, but much appreciated. Oils, thank you very much for stopping in as well. Thank you for your help as well. Wowie, thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you, everybody else, for stopping in as well. Even though you, 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 you don't join the chat, your patronage is appreciated. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the story. Got another Telltale game coming in the docket. Coming in the docket. Coming in the rotation. I won't be for a few days, though. We got some other games to get through as well. I thought I could get away with playing this one today as long as we finished it, so... <laughs> Thank you all again, and we'll see you in the next one.